so when an external field is applied the electrons accelerate or decelerate depending on whether the external field opposes or supports the atom's own magnetic field fine and that we can clearly see from here so it's exactly the same thing that is happening okay it is exactly the same thing that happens there now the moment that happens it means what happens in the net i am doing what i am opposing the external field fine so in the in the net i am opposing the external field so what happens so what happens say say this is my material Hmm. In opposite to the direction of the magnetic field. So, so it respond, it responds by actually opposing you. So, what happens? So, 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 if if the field is from left to right, if the, if you apply a field from left to right, what it does? It it produces its own field. So, so, so suppose this is just when you have applied the field, right? Say, say something like this. something like this you suddenly apply a field what happens this responds by this responds by generating its own magnetic field like that correct so what happens you, for you this is the north pole and this is the south then only because 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 your lines are originating from north and going to south while for this for 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 our material what happens what becomes our north pole this becomes our north pole and this becomes our south pole you see you see that so what will happen what will happen it will start getting repelled in the magnetic field hmm huh? nahi inside inside the material the lines are from south to north right or outside it will be north to south you understand that was a very valid valid doubt actually i would i would have explained had you not asked that correct she asked uh, it is going from here to here so th this should be north and this should be south because the magnetic field lines originate from the north and terminate at the south yeah so why is this yeah because inside the material inside the material the movement is from south to north is it not if there is a magnet inside the magnet so so this is inside the material right outside the material it will be north to south so so you understand this ns is that of the external field this ns is that of the that of the diamagnetic material so what happens happens what happens is that the diamagnetic materials get weakly repelled inside the magnetic field you understand so 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 this is property number 1 right this is property number 1 or i'll say this is property number 2 i'll name it property number 2 what's what's property number 1 property number 1 is what you have already observed is that is that here chi is a small negative number negative number so that mu r mu r is slightly less than one okay now due to all the mechanism that we have studied what happens i write the third property i i write it from here right the third property is <coughs> the third property is that the third property is that
the the magnetic field <coughs> inside the the diamagnetic material inside the diamagnetic material is slightly less than is slightly less than the external field and hence the material is and hence the material is weakly repelled in the magnetic field do we get that point it is weakly repelled in the magnetic field <coughs> huh? Now, now that is something that we have not observed till now. Till now we have never seen something getting repelled in the magnetic field because our most common encounter with magnetism has been of a ferromagnetic material which we always see getting attracted towards the magnet. We will come to that. We will see that. We will see how, how that happens. Now this was when I had just impressed it the magnetic field so actually what happens after some time what happens when it starts starts opposing you the field here is is higher and the field here is lower correct inside the material it is smaller due to the opposition so what happens what happens my the spacing between my lines actually represents the magnitude of the field so what should i do if these fields are field lines are coming in, I'll have to spread them a bit to actually show that that there is an opposition, right? So, so what will I do? I'll do this. So, so if I have to draw this field, I'll I'll draw it like that. That it comes something like this, and here something like this and as it starts approaching it it starts becoming smaller so it goes like that and then comes like this and maybe and why am I doing this hope you understand because I I know that spacing has to go has to become more inside this is it not inside it the spacing has to become more then it will be then it will become whatever it was but inside inside it the spacing has to become more so just something like this and here it is something like this you see that so this is how the field will start looking when when a diamagnetic substance is put inside the magnetic field fine <coughs> 